Well, hello, it's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I'm back to work on the one sheet wonder that is made from the base unit is made from a 12 inch by 24 inch paper. And this is the brand is Paper Studio, so it is from Hobby Lobby. It comes with 30 sheets in five colors. There's six of each color. Um, it is 12 by 24 inch and it is a 65 pound or 176 GSM cardstock. So it's not super thick. So it does, it, it provides a good base unit for a one sheet wonder if you want to just make it out of one sheet. So it does provide a very good base unit for that. Um, otherwise, you need double-sided paper to do a, a one-sheet wonder most of the time. Don't have to, but most of the time you, it would work better. Okay, so let's come back to here. I'll show you what I did. I put on the little tie knobs with eyelets okay and then inside here we have our little ticket pocket right here we have a little bigger pocket right over here we have a little belly band right here and then we have another little pocket right here for a tag so oh and then of course we have what we originally put in was the belly band. So we have that as well. So this is doing a lot of work right here. And then of course this will tie shut. And I should have last night when I let this sit, I left it like this. Well this morning these were like this. So I should have put a heavy dictionary or something on them to squish them down flat. Tonight I will do that. So that they'll be flat tomorrow. <laughs> you know, that's the way it goes. So here we are. I'm going to do this piece here. Now I have just a solid green I could put there. Or do we want to continue with the, the vibrant? Oh, this is pretty vibrant here. Um, do we want to continue with something like this? I'm thinking I'm going to pull this from here. And now it will come over here. Or be a pocket maybe here. What do you think? What's your thoughts on this? Do you have a thought on this? So I'm kind of leaning towards this with a pocket that goes on here. Because this is where the, the little um, booklet is going to go in, the notebook. Right here. See, I here's the spine. Right there, I, I put this on it to make it stronger, and then something will go on the outside too. Yes, yes, yes. So, thought process on this. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we do have, if we decide to switch colors, we do have a pink, which is this and this and it's the back of this Merry Christmas so we could be switching over to pink and this actually would go with it because it has the pink in the poinsettias hmm now that's an idea isn't it to just change the whole color Ooh. We could, we could. We could do pink and then pink snowflakes. 
or we could do pink snowflakes and pink and then maybe there when the book is here the notebook then that differentiates between the two that separates them does that make sense now here's a nice red this would work in here too don't really like the yellow and I don't like the blue for this um, this was okay the pink's okay back there oh this is a pretty kind of a blue blue green oh that's so pretty isn't it that belongs on the front of something okay that is a little bit lighter pink I do like this blue that blue does go with the stars doesn't it and then here is this one with the snowflakes and what else do we have I don't know right this second let's see what the bigger pack has now the bigger pack of course is bigger bigger squares everything else bigger but it does have this one. Oh, look it has a green polka dot oh and it has the stockings I love the stockings the stockings were hung by the chimney with care and you know and the nice thing about the stockings is that it it picks up all of these colors and it starts moving them over this way so let's do that let's put the stockings in I love that one I love this one but look it backs these beautiful little cards that we might need oh that's a pretty one isn't it this goes really well with that those two could go together oh the candy canes oh look this could go with the stockings and then if we need some more it's right here on the back oh yeah I think we've got some picked out so let's do we want the houses in the background or the stockings in the background or do we want the stockings here as a pocket I think they're going to be a pocket side pocket because we already have see we already have this pocket right here so oh oh we already put that in yes okay so I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking 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 um yeah I don't really like that for this then well it might be okay let's see we have one house in there a couple houses the only way to know I don't really I don't think I'm liking that too well I like the stockings okay going with the stockings now I have a line right through here that's that other fold so I want to keep this on this side of it if I possibly can I guess I need to take this um, strip off the top that tells us about this paper Oops. you don't have these laid down pretty flat I'll save that it has some nice Christmassy words um, if you don't lay that down pretty flat it actually cuts crooked 
I yeah, I I do know that. Okay. So, I am going to flip this over. You're probably going to wonder why. Sorry, I bumped into you. I'll show you why. Because I'm going to take... In this line. And... This line. Right, let me put this one in too. Since I'm here, let's put them in. I'm coming back here so that I can measure this paper out correctly. So I'm going to put it a pocket sideways and if I cut it on this side, yeah, the pocket will go there. So I need it on that side of the line and I want to cut it Um, I want to cut it, let's see, so that's about one, two, three inches. Maybe, maybe four. Maybe we'll do four and make it a kind of a deep pocket. Let's do four, let's do three and a half. Three and a half, approximately. And now we're going to cut it down to here. Okay, so first I'm going to cut here and then here. So I'm going to line this one up right here. And I'm going to guesstimate that my line needs to come down right about here. Now we'll see if we can cut this one. Well, we got it approximately there, didn't we? We did, we did. There we go. And I want to take this and put my little pocket thing in it. I'm going to line it right up with this oval the edge of this paper. I'm going to flip it over and line this edge up with this oval. See? Now, we can score this and fold it under to make it stronger, which we did before. And I think that that's probably a good idea because it's, it's a small pocket and with use it is going to get a little wobbly. Oh, here it is. So, here we go. I won't stab it like I did the last one. There we go. I'll do it gently. There we go. So that'll strengthen that pocket up right there. Let me get a little bit of glue. Look, I put the new nib on. I had to find them. They were right where I put them. In with all the nibs I bought. I don't know if they're called nibs, but that's what I call them. Okay. So it's got a new stainless steel needle in it. They have to have a stainless steel needle in them because the glue will rust the needles overnight, in fact. <laughs> I had a hard time finding the needles for a little while there. and So I was just putting in regular ones, but boy, my glue got icky. It looked like antique glue wasn't a bad look for glue you know it'd be kind of neat to have a maybe an antique glue like antique tape 
I'm erasing my pencil lines. So now we have this. Now we need to measure this one or what one? Or it could even be this red one, which was the Christmas um, belly band we used. Could do that. That's kind of cool. Um, I think the Merry Christmas would be better. Oh, this might be okay. The pink. What if we did that? Okay, let's do that. Let's cut it off right here. Cut it right down there. And then we'll have to cut it the same length as the other one. Let me move this. going to go there and here but not on this side so I'm going to pull this down this way just a little bit so I can measure this little piece right here how much I have to cut off and it's just a little what I call a hair or maybe a sixteenth of an inch There we go. Let's put that over there. Erase the pencil line. A lot of work to it, isn't there? Go around it with some, not glue, ink. You never know. Sometimes we call them all the wrong things. <laughs> Not because we want to, it just happens. Okay, so let's put all of these pieces back there. As you can see, I'm making more and more clutter and dirt as I go. Not dirt, but clutter. Okay, so one thing I do want to bring to your attention while I'm thinking of it is that Remember, this is going to be your journal here, but it's going to be tucked inside here. So the only outside pieces is this one and this one. So that means this one and this one and this one and this one may all need a pocket or something on them. So we still have those that we have to work with. We don't want to forget that. Okay, now, what I want to do over here is I want to get that line in. And I want to line this up with the top. Right up there. Okay, there's that one. Now let's get this one in so we can see it lining up our paperwork. That's right. Can't really see it from this side. I'm guesstimating. Good, see here? I have a line. That's what I needed. I needed to be able to see it to put down the pink paper. Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm almost liking the Merry Christmas a little bit better. 
Hmm. Now I think we'll go with the pink. We've got our square, our octagons or whatever they are. And now we have squares again. Oh, look at that. New glue. New nib. Comes out like a charm. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. I love it. Okay, keeping this to this side, to the left of the um, this line, and centering top to bottom so that I can line this one up with it. And it is going to go here, and it will have glue on three sides. We've already inked it. That's good for us. Okay. Now we could have put gussets on there, but I didn't on this one. I want to keep it a little bit flatter next to the pockets right next to it. Okay, I think that, that does it right there. Yep. Okay, that looks pretty, very pretty. I like it. I know it's really weird, but I do like it. Okay, so now we are going to pick this color back up from in here. And I think we will use it here. Right along here to up there somewhere to right over here. And then I'm gonna go from above this line to below, just below that line. Right there. So we'll cut this one off first. Let me remark it so I can see it. There we go. And where was this one? Oh, it's just a hair. It's just a hair. Not like a rabbit hair, just like a hair. Kind of like if that were your hair. If that was my hair, it'd be nice and thick, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh boy, I'd be fluffy. I'd have fluffy hair. I am going to just put this down and then it will get a pocket. Uh, maybe an upper tuck on this one. There's. We have pocket, we have pockets, we have side pocket. This one might need to be an upper tuck this time. Let me just think about that for a little bit. It's going to be an upper tuck. We could use something like um, some sort of ephemera to make it. My dome thing is falling apart. Looks kind of awful. Looks like rust. It's a rusty dome. Not a gnome, but a dome. Um, this is supposed to go on that. Um, Fabri-Tac is supposed to glue fabric, so not Fabri-Tac. Uh, Fabri-Tac does glue fabric. Um, this glitter glue. 
Glitter glue does not have any glitter in it. It's just what they call it. I don't know if they originally made it because it adhered glitter quite well to it or what. But anyway, it is does not have glitter in it, just in case you're wondering. Okay, let me find my rag. I do need to clean my desk. Look at this glue back here, glue and fabric and paper and ink, 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 ink. Okay, oh, I love that. So this was going to go on there, but I think maybe we might take a poinsettia and make an upper tuck with it. Or maybe we need another belly band. Don't know. Let me think about it. I really do need to think about that one. And that won't fit there. It won't fit here. So, well, you know what we could do? We could do an opposite pocket here. Opposite this one. I like that idea. Let me cut this off of here. Um, these are called branding tags, by the way. I always forget the name, but while I think about it, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's called a branding tag. It's what, um, what they put on them so that, um, they can leave the maker's mark on them. The creator. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit shorter than this one, but this one's a little bit bigger page than this one. So that works out perfect. So let me cut off this little piece here. to finish up this piece and then I think we'll call it good for today. Oh, I don't have to do that yet because I, I want to do this first. And let's see, this is the side that we're going to face over that way. So line this edge up with the oval, flip it over and line the, this edge up with the oval. That gets it pretty close to the edge. And I want to find my little scoreboard right here. I'm going to line that up on a line right there and match this one up too. And just barely put it in there. I really I really like this idea of just bending it down. It really um, adds good strength to it. And I, I really appreciate that. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Things we discover. You can see how easily I bent it there. <laughs> We don't need those inside. Okay, that is going to go there. I like that. I think that looks really, really good. So we'll get rid of our white lines here. And three sides. There's three sides to this coin. How does that happen? I don't know, but I just know that when we toss this coin up in the air and it comes down, it has three sides, and I always win. Oh, you always win, do you? Okay, if you say so. 
but he soon learned that that is not the way it works in the world that coins only have two sides and he is not a winner and that's how the story goes oh the neighbor dogs are howling can you hear him Oh, the neighbor dogs are howling. Can you hear it? Boy, I can. I think one of these ways is going to be better than the other. Okay. So, I am going to stop there for today. I may do some of this part without you. If I do anything interesting, I will bring you back. Well, if I do something uninteresting, but I think it's cool, I'll bring you back for that too. So, anyway, oh, I think I like that sound here somewhere. Ooh, I do, I do. Um, yes, I will bring you back for more. Oh, it's actually turning out really cool. I absolutely love these pieces where you make them as one sheet, the one sheet wonders. And I've never made one with a big sheet before, so this is really, well, now, I did make one with a giant piece of paper once, and it, we made cookbooks for our students, and our cooking class um, had a cookbook, so it was pretty cool. Okay. Well, sorry, I've got the on, so it's time for me to go. And it's 31 minutes now anyway, so that's a good time to um, close up shop for the day. Look at this. It says it wants to go on there somewhere. The red goes in this one. It does make a difference because this glue dries thicker around the needle than this glue. So there we go. And I have another yellow one here, but this one is not a special needle. So I'm going to push it to the back. Every once in a while, oh, that was the back. I pushed some others to the front. So every once in a while, I gotta show everybody back again. Here's another piece. We'll put that in here. And I use these big pins to help me get tape apart and stuff like that, like stickers. And then, of course, my needles for, for thread are here. Okay, so I'm going to let you go. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave me some positive comments that um, reassure me, you know. No, I'm reassured. Um, yeah, positive comments feel great. Oh, look. These are the same pocket. <gasps> I boo-booed on that one. We might have to change this one to a side tuck pocket. We could do this. Oh, yeah. We could. We'll see. I didn't even think about them being the same, you guys. But if we take this, oh, you know what? Let's move it to here. And it can be a side tuck out here. And then nobody knows. Then this outside piece is already decorated. That's very cool. I like that. Then we can do something else in here. I like that. Alrighty. Anyway, thumbs up. Become a subscriber if you're not. I'd love to have you all along. I'm getting towards my 1500 mark. I'm very excited about it. Um, don't know why. It doesn't do me any good to have 1500 because I don't make any money at this. So it's just exciting. It's very exciting. So um, I might do a giveaway this time. I don't know. I don't usually do a lot of giveaways. So 
It's just me. I'm just, I'm terrible at mailing. You guys, I am so sorry. If I promised you something, it's right over there. Over there. It's over there. There is a pile of six correspondences that I have to get out. And out by my computer, there are two packages. So, you see, I get my Etsy out immediately. But when I have mail and I'm doing this, that I'm corresponding with people, I am terrible. I always have been. My sister is an expert at it. She writes and she mails and, oh my goodness, every day. She is fantastic at it. Congrats, sis. I wish you would have given me some of that gene. But she has that gene and she's very good at it. And I think out of the seven of us, she is the only one that actually has sustained that gene her whole lifetime. So I'm so, so happy for her because I wish I had even a tad bit of it because it, it is like tooth and nail for me to do mail. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It just is. I'm just, just that way. <laughs> I think it's because I have to go out the front door. I have to get in my car. I have to go to town. What's happening in here? Who's playing? I don't know. What if somebody's in here playing while I'm gone? I know they're not, but the elves in the shoemaker tells me that that can happen. And Pinocchio, too. It happened on Pinocchio, too. It could happen here. And Smokey says, only you can prevent forest fires. So, here we go. There's my rant. <laughs> I'm okay, really. Uh, it's just me. Just me playing along with my mind that is going at the speed of sound. So... Anyway, here we go. Isn't it beautiful? Look at it. It's developing along. Oh, I love this one. Look at all this. I love this little belly band, and I put thumb notches on both sides. Isn't that cool? It's kind of like it's got a little bow tie. Let me show you. Oh, how sweet. I should put a little bow on it. No, it won't fit in there then. Be a squished bow. Okay, that's it. I'm I'm hanging up now. All right. All right. Here we go. That's there. I love it. And I hope you love it too. I'm going to go. Bye.